Hello and welcome to Ionic Apps for WooCommerce. Now that you have installed Node.js, Git Bash and Visual Studio Code on your machine, you can use Git Bash or your command prompt for Windows or your terminal for Mac to install Ionic and Cordova. So in this video, I'm going to use Git Bash to install Ionic and Cordova. When you have installed Git Bash, it should look something like this. And now you can use this prompt to type in your commands. One way to make sure that node is installed correctly is by typing in node-v. This should give you the version of node installed in your machine. So on my machine, node version 0.12.6 is installed. Along with node, node package manager is also installed. So I can check the version of node package manager as well. All we have to do is type in npm-v. This will give me the version 2.11.2, which is the current version of my node package manager. Node package manager allows us to install packages on our machine just by using the command prompt. So I can use this git bash or I can use the command prompt that comes with windows or if you are on a Mac, you can use the terminal and you can type in these commands right here. Ionic is available as a node module. So you can use node package manager to install Ionic. So all you have to type is npm install Ionic. So this is a command that will install Ionic. The node package manager will install Ionic. One more thing is that you have to use the flag dash g. This will install Ionic globally. Installing a module globally is a lot convenient. You can use the functionality provided by this module throughout your computer. Otherwise, you will have to be in the particular folder that you install this module in. Another feature of npm is that you can specify number of modules in just one line and then hit enter to install all those modules together. So I'm going to install Cordova as well. So I will type in Cordova right here npm install ionic space cordova dash g. So this command will install ionic and cordova globally on my machine. Go ahead and hit enter. I have already installed these modules. So in the next video, we will start using ionic and will create our first ionic application.